After being named Galactic Emperor in 19 BBY, Palpatine turned the sclerotic remains of the Galactic Republic into an empire and thus introduced authoritarian rule over the entire galaxy. Whereas before leaders had served for fixed terms until being succeeded by duly elected successors, now the thorny issue of imperial succession complicated matters. For his part, Palpatine showed little real interest in the matter of who would succeed him. In fact, he apparently intended from the start to live and reign forever even developing his own Sith doctrine to replace Bane's rule of two. Although he did have the Dark Empire at least run on autopilot in the event that he ended up killed temporarily. However, his final death permanently put an end to his plans. Palpatine. 19 BBY 4 Abbey Sate Pestage. 4 Abbey 5 Abbey Palta Carvan, as head of the Imperial Ruling Council. 5 Abbey Asan Izzard. 5 Abbey minus 7.5 Abbey A Coalition of Moths and Imperial Advisors. 7.5 Abbey Arstangor at the head of a resurrected ruling council, minus 9 Abbey Grand Admiral Thrawn, 9 Abbey. Additionally, the Seutric Hegemony and the Pentaster Alignment, fearing coups, pledged their holdings to the Empire and to Thrawn, who was now in charge of a temporary military confederation. A group of moths and fleet commanders, less than 9 Abbey 10 Abbey Imperial Mutiny, 10 Abbey a resurrected Palpatine, as leader of the Dark Empire. 10 Abbey 11 Abbey The Dark Empire was briefly leaderless following one of Palpatine's deaths at the Battle of Pinnacle Base, but he had designed it to run on autopilot. Karna Jax, as leader of the Crimson Empire. 11 Abbey Burn Nolids, as head of the Interim Ruling Council. 11 Abbey Zandal Caravus, as head of the council, then as a self-styled emperor. 11 Abbey Utter Collapse of Imperial Authority followed, and the Empire ceased to exist. 